Greetings fellow Earthlings and welcome to the end of this Teutonic uh, campaign for Medieval 2 Total War, uh, the time lapse of it. Now this was of course AI only and we ran into a little bit of an issue. Basically the AI decided to go for near enough world peace. Everyone was at war with Denmark but because of how stupid the AI is they couldn't actually attack Denmark. They're not smart enough to use the seas to cross over and of course because of these green I've also heard on how they work for Polish can only come one army at a time, which just keeps getting destroyed. Uh, by the way, the last 10 or so seconds of this time lapse actually reflected the last 100 turns. Uh, yeah, so 100 turns in the last 10 seconds, and as you can see, the borders didn't really change at all. Um, so that's why I decided to end it here. Um, I actually did this as a campaign where I spectate and commentate over the entire thing, and it was all good, but once it got to turn 250, um, it was over, and these are the final borders. Uh, this is, of course, as large as I can get these empires, and yeah, nothing nothing can be done. Well, I could, I could lie to you and just uh, cheat for more views, but <laughs> I, I could. <laughs> Some of you won't notice, but yeah, yeah, of course. Not going to do that, and of course it's, you know, because of that there's no point continuing. So let's just check, uh, you saw the diplomacy there, I've already gone through that. Let's check the um, end stats of the uh, remaining factions. So we've of course got Denmark, Poland, Novgorod and Lithuania. Of course overall Poland wins, uh, military as well, Poland are just dominant there. Um, and as we can see territory, again it goes to Poland. Well done to Poland for getting the win, 24 settlements, that's quite good for uh, for this campaign, especially considering uh, they can't actually attack their enemies and they're at peace with everyone else, well, an alliance with en everyone else. Uh, second place goes to Novgorod with about 20 settlements, third place with 17 settlements goes to Novgorod, uh, that's Lithuania in second, sorry, my bad. Lithuania in second, Novgorod in third, and in fourth place Denmark with 11 settlements, roughly. There's finances and 
Ooh, Novgorod were rich there. And finally, population. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed this time lapse. Um, I also hope you enjoyed uh, the entire AI only series that I did uh, before this time lapse. Yeah, that'll be linked at the end and linked in the description probably, so you can go check that out if you want to. And yeah, um, of course I made a highlights section for this. Um, it's from the campaign, like the just like two minutes of the campaign's best moments. Hope you've enjoyed. That will play soon. Uh, but for now, for me. Goodbye.